Good morning. Good morning. I'm Robert Lentz, Chairman of the Fayetteville Cumberland County Parks and Recreation Advisory Commission. And I would like to welcome you all to the ribbon cutting and grand opening of the Westwood Aquatic Center. All right. I would, I would now like to introduce Nat Robinson, Mayor of Fayetteville, Mayor of the City of Fayetteville. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lentz. How's everyone doing? Great. Beautiful day. First, I'd like to recognize a few of the city council members that are here. We have Mayor Pro Tem, Katie Ann Davey. Katie Ann, wave. There you go. <laughs> council members Hearst, Moan, Chris. Y'all wave as I call your name. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> McDougal, Colvin, Wright, Miss Jensen, our other female on the board. See, I made bookends out of the females. And Mr. Arp can't be here because. Getting ready to do that. Mr. Arp celebrated the opening yesterday. He came out and did a little uh, celebratory swim himself yesterday uh, to break the pool in. Probably the cleanest the water will ever be. Just kidding, we got great filtration. I was kidding, that was a bad joke, I'm sorry. On behalf of the uh, 10 members of the Fayetteville City Council, I'd like to welcome you to the opening and dedication of the first swimming pool we've had in this community since 1948. You know, the discussions began about this time last year, I believe Mr. Chris kicked off those discussions about how can we improve the quality of life and what do we need to do in our parks and recreation system to make Fayetteville a more attractive place for business and industry to take a look at us and be more competitive with other cities across the state. And uh, that's what we've done today and that's uh, one of the celebrations we're getting ready to do up here. Uh, there are several people that I'd like to thank uh, who have been instrumental over the past year in getting this contract and, and this, uh, this, this great event scheduled for today. Uh, first, it would not have been possible without our Parks and Recreation, that's the Fayetteville, Com Mr. Adams, Commissioner Adams, the Fayetteville Cumberland County Parks and Recreation Board, so I'd like to thank them very much. Also, our Parks and Recreation staff, it's headed up by Michael Gibson, thank you very much for your hard work. Um, city manager's office and the uh, the work that they have had to do to push this thing and uh, uh, lightning speed to get it done uh, before the end of the summer so it can still be enjoyed. Uh, also the YMCA as you see inside you'll notice all of the lifeguards they're supplied by the YMCA. Uh, if any of you young folks are interested in becoming lifeguards I would tell you to check out the program. Uh, they've got a great program for water safety instructors and lifeguards. Also, I'd like to thank Gordon Johnson, our architects, uh, which I hope this will be a blueprint that we're able to use uh, at least one more time uh, in building another pool in the community. And M&E Contracting, who are our builders, which uh, there is no such thing as nine to five with this group. I was out here early in the morning and late in the evening, and these guys have been working real hard. Uh, so it's, yes, big round of applause. And wait till you get inside and see the beautiful work they've done. So it's with great excitement and anticipation that we honor and honor that we join you today at this ribbon cutting. Uh, at this time, Mr. McDougall is standing by. I'd like for him to say a few words. At the conclusion, I would ask all council members and city council members only to come forward. We'll do the ceremonial ribbon cutting. Following that, we'll do a second ceremonial cutting uh, with the Parks and Rec group. Following that, we'll do a third with uh, any of the uh, other folks that were instrumental in getting this done, including the builders and the county commissioners and uh, the other folks who have, have, have been partners with us in this. Councilmember McDougal. Certainly would like to thank the mayor for those uh, wonderful comments and giving uh, a credit to everybody. Listen, I've received a lot of advice this morning as I've walked around, everybody that know me. I think you all got together and had a council meeting before I came, amen? Because the advice seemed to be the same. Keep it short, amen? But what you see today, being here at the Westover um, uh, Recreation Center is progress in action in favor. 
And we certainly like to thank all of the citizens and all of the elected officials and, and especially the people that work in the city management for all the wonderful work that they've done to make this progress happen here today. Uh, there are a lot of people that believe that we will never get here, but we're here. Amen? Amen. Now, I'm a Methodist preacher, so occasionally I will say amen or hallelujah or that sort of thing. So if you'll just go along, at least act like you're a Methodist, we'll be all right. Is that okay? Amen. 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 It's been nearly 60 years since this city has developed an aquatic center. The only one we've had in the last 30 years has been uh, uh, the Chalmers Prue, which is, should be named after me, but it's named after a good friend of mine, uh, Ronald Chalmers. And we certainly appreciate him for all the wonderful work that he did in the community in and around the Seabrook area. But 60 years is too long. We, we, we refuse to wait another 60 years the council has already made plans to build a third pool, which will be hopefully in the College Lakes area. And again, this is progress in action. You got to help me with this again. I just told you I was a Methodist preacher. Amen. And so sometimes you got to give me some feedback so I know that you're hearing what I'm saying. But we are here today looking at progress in action. Progress in action. That's what it's all about. Amen. Amen. Uh, the proactive leadership of the council and the staff. This is just the beginning of what will happen. We call this placemaking. In other words, we, uh, this is a hard-working city. Uh, I mean, a group of hard-working people. As a matter of fact, uh, for a large part of our community, they say that they do more work by 9 a.m. than most people do all day. But we also like to recreate. We also like to have fun and enjoy family and friends. And this is part of that that we like to do after we leave work. Again, we want to thank all of those that have made this possible. It's a great day for the citizens of Fayetteville, North Carolina. A great day for we've done something that for six decades now, others have been afraid to do. This is progress in action. In action. Amen? Amen? And we want our children, I don't know about you, but I want my children, my grandchildren, I want children for generations to come uh, to want to live in Fayetteville. And, in, and, and until we do these kinds of things that you see happening today, they will leave this city. But we don't want them to leave, amen? Yeah. I want my children here when I start to get an age, don't you? I want my grandchildren around. I want generations to come around. And we must continue to do this by having good folk on the parks and recreation, by having good folk on the council, good people in the administration. We will continue to advance. Again, this is progress. Amen. God bless you.